Welcome back on Dynamod. Today I want to propose you a video about uh, the painting of the scenic feature Liam Shaper engine of the Seraphon. This is uh, the part about only the painting one. If you're interested about the unboxing and monetization, you can find both the video related about in the description. This is a video that I brought to show you how I decided to paint it and moreover the part about the lightning effect of the shaper engine itself because I think that can be quite interesting. So now we can go to see how I painted such amazing shank feature. The first step is the black prime of the Vallejo as prime itself and then I start to put the prime on all the models. Obviously you can decide to use the black prime of the Vallejo or for the Abaddon Black of the Citadel or use the black spray of other trademarks it's up to you decide how you want to make such effect but I wanted to have a dark base under such one so you can obviously skip everything and use the next step that it's the gray step directly as a primary one but sincerely I prefer to use a different option so I decided to start using the black primer as my base for such model. And then it's the tune of the dead brush with the stone wool grey of the Vallejo. The dead brush is an amazing technique that lets you using the color on the model discharge a lot on a tissue of paper and so on of the color itself and so you can highlight the mod in the part that are on upper part so that you can see the shadows based on the primer that you used and at the same time having the highlight based on the color that you're using so it's quite interesting and amazing one to use as technique and then it's the time of the caliban green of the citadel for the roots for this step you need to take a brush with a thin tip and then use a bit of precision doing such step because it will be requiring a lot of patience to do because there are a lot of little things to move on brushing on it. And then a color that I love, the Irati Green of the Scale Color 75 to make the right of the leaf and roots. You have to pay a bit of attention about this step because you need to move again on the roots and leaf that you painted before with the Caliban Green and move on each of them. Pay attention to leave a bit of the shadow created by the Caliban Green itself so that you can create this contrast of light and shadow with the base color that you used before. And then the Victorian brass of the Scale Core 75 for the glyphs. I'm a bit in love for such color because I really appreciate it a lot. About this you have to remember that to paint the glyphs you have to pay attention because you have to paint all the borders about the glyphs. You can choose different colors if you want. I decided to use this to make a sort of ruined pressure metal and so giving such effect that I liked quite a lot. And then the green ink of the Vallejo to kill shadow to roots and leaves. And I really like a lot the results. About the platform I decided also to paint both sides of the roof itself because I wanted to be able to change and so on what I wanted. I prefer the part with the roots and so on but I thought that it was quite useful to make a sort of uh, interchangeable thing so I decided to paint both sides of such roof. And then the shade agar shift of the citadel to paint the shadow for the ziggurat. Shadows that there were perfect to make that I had the stone as highlight and the shadows not so clean and not so abrupt so quite amazing effect. And then again the Victorian brass passive time for the engine. You can play about using Victorian Brass alternated to the Akase shade to reach the amount of light that you want for such engine. About the lighting I decided to use the Rapid Flash of the Citadel as the and so I used this on all the lighting that I had for such models, so all the parts that had such lighting. And to highlight everything I used the Sky Blue of the Vallejo. 
Remember to shake hard this color before to use and you have only to use this color to highlight the tips of the lighting that you need to make it more relevant. And then the dirty violet shade of the citadel to fuse everything together because you can have a nice a final effect. It's how you decide how much intense the Duke Valiant has to have as effect on such lightning. It's up to you. Anyway, I think that the final effect is quite amazing. Eventually, you can try to make more steps of sky blue and Duke Violet based on how much you want to try to gain this fusion on or to highlight some parts. Anyway, I think that the final effect is really quite amazing, as you can see. And it's something that perfect fuse all together to realize such amazing shank feature. Then we need to store this shank feature, so we unbuild the, that is monetized the part about the engine, and also the Zigurat part. And uh, using the monetization here, it's uh, really a must, I think, because. Uh, you can have okay this one and you can use in different ways but monetizing this can let you store this occupying really a few volume and so as you can see this shiny feature it's quite simple to paint you only need a lot of patience because there are a lot of the states to paint with because i decided to paint the part about the roots and so on so it needs quite a bit of efforts of passion to paint everything with a precision that uh, it's worth i think so from dino mode it's everything i invite you to put a like on this video to subscribe to the channel to ring the bell and to come and visit this video if you are interested in something about this video or you want to suggest me some arguments for other videos i hope to see you again to the next time